Yo, yo, yo. What is going on, my beautiful brothers and sisters, fellow radiators of love? My name is Jamal Pope, a.k.a. J. Phoenix, and this is going to be your daily tarot and astrology reading for Saturday, August 24th of 2024. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful start to your weekend. Let's go ahead and hop into today's video, see what the cards have to say, see what the planets have to say, so we can see how you can be better prepared to navigate these celestial energies, these wild and powerful times that we all find ourselves in. How are you going to navigate it today? Well, I have the Queen of Bones, the Queen of Bones and or the Queen of Wands in reverse. Definitely not a day to allow your emotions to get the better of you especially when it comes to like your passions and the things that kind of fire you up. This is an individual that wields a lot of power, the Queen of Wands, but because it is reversed, she is not in her right mind. She's not thinking in the right space. She's, she's not under the right influences. And this can cause for there to be a bit of destruction. It's different than water where things kind of get drowned out, but this is more of like a burning kind of energy, right? Because it is fire. We want to just be careful that we are not burning people out. You know, we want to make sure that we're a little bit more sound emotionally and stuff. Now, it's interesting because the moon is in Taurus, so it's a lot more grounded right now compared to when the moon was in Aries. We do have some interesting energy today, though. I mean, there's not, there's not really a whole lot that's going on astrologically. Like, it's pretty much, yeah, it's Mars and Chiron. So that's pretty much the only thing that's going on. Now, for the following card, I have the Knight of Bones in reverse as well. What's interesting about this card is that it shows like this kid that's riding on the snake, and he's showing no fear getting up on the snake and riding it. You know, he's a red belt, essentially, and he has like absolutely no fear. So it's about conquering your fears. It's about, you know, riding your passions out but this is in reverse so there could be an element where maybe we are afraid to confront some things maybe we are afraid to conquer our fear so to speak and you know we're kind of you know this could be an element where we may be overthinking things we may be thinking that something is too big for us to handle it's too big for us to take on like i said astrologically we don't really have a ton of stuff going on it's really going to be that moon here in Taurus that's not really going to make really any aspect besides a trine over to you know Black Moon Lilith and a Queen Kunks over to the South Node other than that we will see Mars shift to 23 degrees today it'll shift to 23 degrees of Gemini and that will make a sextile over to Chiron so we do get that aspect today and that is a harmonious energy, the sextile. It does bring up an opportunity here for us, especially with Mars Gemini, it brings up an opportunity for us to, you know, connect and or to communicate, you know, you know, from a place of where we might have learned something or some education, especially when it comes to some of the challenges or the tribulations, maybe even the traumas that we have in our life. You know, this sextile will give us an opportunity to be able to relate to people when it comes to, you know, I've been through these things, I've been through this, but this is what it has taught me. This is what I've learned from those experiences, and this is how I far, this is where I am right now, this is how far I've come, this is how I was able to overcome those challenges. So, there is a nice little opportunity here, especially with Mars, considering that it does bring like this warrior kind of like energy, and Chiron is in the sign of the warrior of Aries. There is, like I said, this element where it's like we may be, we were able to kind of connect with people, you know, from that aspect. And, you know, i thinking here with these two cards in reverse, it can probably be easy to lack the self-confidence or to lack the courage to really go for the things that we want or to move things forward or feeling like we're even capable of handling the load of our lives right now. But this sextile is saying that we absolutely can handle the load of, on, of our right now that we're going through. And it doesn't have to be all doom and gloom. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be all doom and gloom. But we can actually handle these things. And we can connect to people. You know, Mars, sextile, and Chiron, and Aries. Uh, while Mars and Gemini, this is definitely kind of like those vibes of like, shoot, kind of battling, 
alongside other people in the trenches of life and you look over at the other individual and be like yo so who are you where are you because this is area so it's basic like who are you you know what i mean like what makes you you your personality where you kind of like where you're from all that sort of all that sort of energy and then you kind of learn about someone else's like their background their history their story and whatever like that and then you find the ways that you relate you find the ways that you the ways that you connect so this is a nice little sex song because it will definitely allow us to be able to connect to other people in that way i think the danger part is that you don't want to get so wrapped up in the trauma or so wrapped up in you know the weirdness of the chiron that you forget how those experiences made you stronger and that's really what's important right Sometimes we get so caught up on the scar itself that we don't think about, you know, what did we learn from the scar and what did we learn from that situation? What did we learn from that pain or that hurt that we might have experienced? You know, that is what's really important here. Well, like I said, other than that, we don't really have like a whole lot going on. This moon's going to be in Taurus. It's not going to make too many exact aspects. Like I said, it's, it makes a trine over to Black Lilith. So I guess that's like the main thing that it does. And, you know, other than that, we're not going to really see it do much before the end of the day. It's It'll end up around 16 degrees, so it'll start to sex hell Saturn, although it won't be exact. So we'll have that energy, too. You know, which might be like kind of like a nice little way to kind of wrap up the day, you know, where we can emotionally kind of ground ourselves in something that's, that's solid, that's secure. You know, emotions are solid and secure. The sex out of Saturn is like, you know, it could be solid and secure. Things are the things that you build over time. And those are the beautiful things. Those are those are the true miracles. You know, because Pisces, in many ways, it's spiritual. It can be miracles. And the true miracles right now that we're being taught with Saturn and Pisces is the true miracles are the things that we build over time. The things that we put our energy and effort into. The things that don't just come immediate. The things that aren't just quick. This is not some something that you just pop in the microwave of life. Or the air fryer of life you know this requires a little bit more you know preparation this requires a little bit more you know it requires an oven a stove top it's not just popping it into the microwave and expecting it to taste like a five course meal or to taste like a a meal from a michelin three-star restaurant you know that's not what this is about you know so that's what i'm saying like give yourself some grace here too don't be too hard on yourself you know Whenever the moon is in Taurus, things do kind of chill out a little bit. I will say that. And like I said in my weekly astrology horoscope, this is kind of a chill week in general. It's going to allow us to kind of catch our breath a little bit in between all of the insanity, all of the chaos. We do get a little bit of a breather here this week. So take advantage of that fact too. And just, you know, we are in Virgo season now. The sun will be at two degrees of Virgo for a good bit of the day. So... You know, it's coming off that yacht to the Pluto, for, to Pluto and Neptune. It's pretty much effectively done at this point. So now we're going to be like in the full swing of this Virgo season. And yeah, we could, it's easy to get overly critical, overly analytical, and like really, really in your head and stuff like that. But, you know, like I said, this is one of those moments where it's like, you know, take a step back, make the, make the adjustments that you need to make, but don't be afraid and know that you are... You don't have to be afraid to get up on the snake of life. You don't have to be afraid to get up on, you know, what you may perceive as something that is larger or some sort of beast or something to, to tame or to conquer, you know. This is about enjoying the ride, ultimately, you know. I have the star card also in reverse. So, yeah, I think this is just coming down to, you know... Maybe we're feeling unlucky. Maybe we're feeling like the, our guides are looking out for us or the stars are looking out for us. Maybe we're feeling like the stars aren't aligned. This is really coming down to more of like a self-worth, self-confidence thing. I don't think it's so much that things aren't working now. It may not be working out exactly the way that you want. The star card in the verse is saying here that it's like, it's like you got to like you gotta believe in the magic again. You know, you got to believe in the magic again. And you got to... You know, you got to trust yourself. You got to trust the process. It's definitely a day of, like, trusting the process. And, you know, it's going to be a day of, like, the people that have self-esteem, that have good self-confidence, can make it through these challenges. The people that don't, they're going to struggle a little bit more. We all struggle with confidence and self-esteem 
at various points in our life, some people more than others, but we all struggle with it. So that's okay. It's okay. Just know that opportunities will open up for you today where you can connect and relate to other people and realize that you're not as different as you think you are than some of these people out here. Be courageous. I, I can't I can't put it any simpler than that. That's the reason why this deck is called the Answer is Simple Oracle deck. Because I've been saying that there's an there's an issue of confidence and self worth, and yet the card that comes up is be courageous. I feel like that's poetic justice right there. That's going to do it for your daily tarot and astrology reading. I apologize if I sound a little bit tired. I am. I went to the uh, game tonight. We got our butts kicked, uh, the Falcons game preseason. But it was fun. I had a great time. I brought some friends, too. We had a good time. Ate some really good pizza. Had some good drinks. And it was fun. Uh, but I am tired, and I am making this video, <laughs> like, right before midnight going into Saturday. So, But now I'm rambling. Y'all take care. Stay blessed. Have a wonderful Saturday. I will see you all on the next Tarot and Astrology video. Peace.